I'm learning something today. You learn something? Absolutely. Hey, let me paint a little bit of a backstory here so that you guys know what's going on here. We got this bike from a dealer that was thought to be a, a nightmare electrical problem. All kinds of scotch locks, wires everywhere, chopped up, modified, different ignition, so on and so on. And so we love this hard stuff. And in my uh, electrical systems class, this would be a great learning opportunity. So I got a couple of uh, cool students there that wanted to dive in on this project. We got Chris and CJ. And while I was locating the service manual to print the wiring diagram to continue on with the lesson, they went ahead and they did ground verification, check the battery, check fuses. And they could see that they just didn't have any power up at the key switch. And the wiring harness on the tunnel didn't look to be violated, so we thought, well, let's just stop. And that is what this video is about. It's about knowing when to stop and use resources so that you don't waste a ton of time. I mean, cutting the whole wiring harness apart and trying to find broken wires or something else would be really time consuming. And especially in this case, because there was no problem at all. Let me show you in the OEM Kawasaki service manual. So I snipped a couple of photos of the wiring diagram here so you could see what I'm talking about. We got a main switch and an ignition switch and within the same wire harness. I, I can't stress enough that the purpose of this video is going to be about the fact that there's no possible way you're going to know the operation of every vehicle that comes at you, especially in our power sports in industry from ATVs, UTVs, generators. You know, how do you turn it on? How is the fuel, you know, shut on and off as if it is? How is the choke or fuel enrichment circuit used? I can't stress enough that owner's manuals are a really, really valuable resource too. And in this particular case, this bike was sitting around doing nothing and thought to have a problem and it literally just had a you know I want to say it's hidden but it wasn't hidden it just had another switch that needed to be turned on before using the ignition switch check out uh, the rest of this video to see uh, what we had happen here what well, we were figuring out trying to figure out why we initially didn't have any powers up to this key switch and you guys use test locks <coughs> and small time meters and we had no everything voltage. everything we did ground verification everything was fine except for no power up there so we got ourselves a wiring diagram for it and we just started taking the highlighter and tracing out the direct path of it and it turns out there is a second switch right here underneath the seat for the seat lock so, so we i moved that back out of position and if i go here we have no dash lights we have no anything okay but if i go here and move this to this position Notice the key pulls out. And we gotta learn about this. Here's what we gotta do. We're gonna find the owner's manual so that we can actually figure out how to operate this vehicle. I located that KZ1300 owner's manual and as you can see right there in print, page 22, specifically tells how to start the vehicle with the double switch system they call it. What are the right steps for starting the this starting vehicle? Procedures. Yep. Just yesterday in class, I was teaching the guys about tracing out wiring diagrams and the benefit. Small and kind of a pain, but you know, if you're having trouble seeing it, you know, you can do this as well. Chris, you know, obviously, how's this working out for you? Very well. Yeah. You said you like the printouts and being able to map it out this way. We could probably put fuel in this thing and start it. <laughs> If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.